My name is Todd Kabanban, and I'm LAI's PR and Communications Chair. This presentation is a brief message about creating content as part of our YouTube LAI channel initiative. After the basic introduction, we're going to work together on an exercise creating a simple piece of content. And then the last part of the presentation, we're gonna present a fun challenge for this Lou with a special prize to the winner. So what is content? Content can be anything that we might wanna share with each other. It can be as simple as a series of pictures, it can be video, and sometimes it can be just audio. Within each of those mediums, there are various degrees of production with static unedited content on one end of the spectrum and fully produced content with music, sound effects, and editing on the other. For now, let's just talk about the basics. What do we need to create and upload content? For this presentation, we are only going to focus on the bare minimum. The first thing you will need is a cellular phone. I'm sure that at one time or another, everyone that has a cellular phone has taken at least one picture or even recorded one video on their device. This is all you need to start creating content. The second thing you will need after you create your content is a computer to get the media from your phone to YouTube. Getting ready to use YouTube. In a nutshell, YouTube is a video sharing website. In order to use YouTube, you will need to set up a YouTube account. In order to do this, you will need a Google ID or a Gmail account. If you're not sure how to do this, email me and we will walk you through it. Once you have a Google ID or Gmail, setting up a YouTube account is very easy. Just follow the prompts when you click on create an account from the YouTube website. Now let's talk about creating content. In terms of video, shorter is better. The average length of a YouTube video is about four minutes. For our purpose of creating content for LAI, I would limit all of my video clips to 10 seconds or less. This timing will help you to capture the bare essence of whatever you are showing. Photos are pretty simple as it relates to creating content. The better your pictures, the better the content. Things to consider for photos are lighting, and composition, which brings me to the final suggestion when creating content. When taking video or photos, make sure you use a landscape aspect ratio. That basically means hold your phone like this and not like the picture with the red circle. This will give your video a more uniform look like that of a movie or TV. After you create content, the next part is just about file management. It's important to know where you are saving your media files so that it's easier to upload that file to YouTube. There are multiple ways to get media files to your computer. You can email them, upload them to Dropbox or your desktop, or put them on a thumb drive. You should use whatever file system you are the most comfortable with. Once you get the media files onto your computer, uploading to YouTube is fairly easy. You will need to log on to the LAI YouTube channel and then go to the video manager. From the video manager section of YouTube, you can upload your media by dropping it into the uploading area of the website. Now we're going to do an example exercise. This involves finding a partner and shooting a short introduction. I'm gonna list out what we're gonna do, and then we're going to pause the presentation so that we can pair up and shoot our example. Step one, find a partner. Step two, Open the photo video app on your phone. Step three, engage the video camera feature. Step four and five, videotape your partner. Videotape them saying, hello, I'm, say your name. Welcome to the 2018 Spring Lou in Baltimore, Maryland. And then six, I'd like you to email the video to Todd at crmcr.com. Now I'm gonna pause so that we can shoot our short introductions. Now for the content challenge. We challenge everyone at the Lou to help create video or photos to be used in a short highlight video for this Lou. Use your phone to take photos or videos of anything you experience while you're at the Lou. When you're done, I want you to email the footage to me. The member whose footage and pictures we use the most of in our highlight video will win a great prize, courtesy of our own Cassandra Francis. The prize for our content challenge is a replica model from the Marshall Field City Sites collection of buildings. This model is of the Frank Lloyd Wright Frederick C. Roby House, 
which is a U.S. National Historic Landmark on the campus of the University of Chicago in the south side neighborhood of Hyde Park in Chicago. This model is a collector's item and is valued at over $250. So thank you very much to Cassandra Francis for donating this prize for the content challenge. If you have any questions or need help with LAI's YouTube initiative, feel free to reach out to me. Thanks again for watching.